C'est trop calme. It's just too quiet. Yeah, a whole week now and not a peep out of old lobster lips. It's not natural. I'm getting a willy dee. Yeah, we all are, bro. Of course, some of us are handling it a tiny bit better than others. <sighs> My turn to spackle. Been watching this old mouse again, huh, bro? And now we have behind door number one... Oh, I can't take it anymore. I need to whip some tail. Hey, hey, chill, Adrenaline Mouse. At least this break's given Charlie a chance to give the bikes their 20 million mile tune-up. Okay, okay, listen, listen. What say we just go bust up a few goons? Even one. Please, maybe even just kick their tires. Oh, yeah, he's in bad shape. Bros, bros, let's think. Look, look, if, if it's this quiet, Perch Puss must be up to something, right? Well, if he is, isn't it our born duty as heroes, heroes, to put him on ice? Hmm, he does have a point. Well, there you go. Let's rock. Whoa, whoa, now, wait a minute, Vincent. Charlie said our bikes weren't ready yet. Oh, she's just a perfectionist. Besides, it sounds ready to me. Makes sense. I'm in. Well, at least we'll find out what Limburger's up to. And, uh, we are running out of spackle. See you on the cover of Hero's Handbook, sweetheart. We're gonna whip us some blue turkey in tail. <laughs> Wait, guys, no! Come back! Oh, I haven't put the weapons back in your fights yet. Awful quiet. But then again... Is there still a ghoul or two left in Chi-Town after all? Yeah! Well, I guess warm-up's over. My blood pressure's starting to rise! Oh, it's my turn, Chucklehead! What? Hey, I got no grappling hook. Chain shot. Not. Hey. Oh, Mama, our bikes are only half baked, and we're about to get frosted. <laughs> and no fish to scale. And looky here. Limburger left a little treat behind for us. Heads up, Rose! Hmm. Bet your guppy guts is in the lab. Check out the goodies beaming out of Carbuncle's transporter. No wonder Chubhead's not around. He's out stripping ore from somewhere else. Oh, no! Caught in a deadly crossfire. <laughs> what could be finer? Yep, 
Nothing gets by her. those double root beers and hot dog smoothies. Oh, I don't know what happened, but I better get your bikes battle ready. I wonder where those goons are. I wonder where we are. Wherever we are, it looks like Limburger's been doing the landscaping. It's the same stuff that was pouring out of the transporter. Yo, bros, check this out. Cool, you found a way to pack our battle armor. Uh, I did manage to complete a few of my improvements for the new model year. They were supposed to keep you out of trouble. Hey, duh, we're heroes. We live for trouble. <laughs> Man, that transporter must have dumped us onto some planet of giant refrigerator magnets. I don't know. They look more like, a uh... Angry refrigerator magnets. Behold their wheeled steeds. They must be in league with the evil Baron. Metalheads are making a big mistake. Well, uh, what are you calling a witch? Oh. Oh, man. Well, I guess these citizens still want more. Uh. The dragon coming! Dragon? That well, looks more like your basic Plutarchian backhoe to me. I fear no man or beast. Swords? Dragons? You know, if I didn't know better, I'd swear we were back in the middle. Lancelot, come back! Lancelot? Oh my gosh, I knew it! We've got to save him. You mean you know that walking piece of aluminum siding? Those guys are knights. This is the Middle Ages. We've gone back in time. All right, then that calls for tactic XXI. Come on, bros. Hey, but you heard him. I'm a fighting kind of wench. Oh, great. See you at the next wench fight. Well, looky, lookies. It's one of them moving sardine cans. Say nighty-night. Night. Huh? Aw, oh, nuts. Where'd them mouses come from? Fly by. <laughs> hey, ever see a dragon fly off a cliff? <laughs> bye bye, Nancy. Have a nice swim. Fire <laughs> rockets, bros. Oh, no. Mama, guess these babies needed a little bit more time up on the rack. <laughs> Think of how to work like a charm, boss. Them mousies is now drowned like water rat. <laughs> He's just gonna hate himself in the morning. Hey, Lublitz. <clears throat> Thanks for the lift. All right, you spine pieces. This time, no more Mr. Nice Goon. <laughs> Why do I surround myself with the evolutionally challenged? Come on, let's go change his oil. Now, it seems first we gotta beat the neighbors. Oh, man, do we have to whip these ten men again? All right, Brass Bud, one more step. You have the honor of having saved my life, warrior. Oh, right, it's, uh, it's what I do. Are you really the Sir Lancelot? As in King Arthur? We are his knights of the round table. At your service, my fairest of ladies. I regret to see the dragon ate your clothing. What? Oh. <laughs> hey, Lance, keep your mind on your horse. You warriors have slain the dragon who devours our countryside. We must celebrate. You shall accompany us to Camelot. Camelot? 
honest, boss. It weren't my fault. Grease pit, you're dripping on the tapestries. Uh, sorry, boss. <laughs> uh, let me use this big towel here to dry off. Mm. That's a little scratchy, but who's got towels like the dunes anyway? Mm. <laughs> hey, say, boss, when do you think we can go back to Chicago? Not till we've completed this aggravating assignment, you petroliferous pinhead. Unfortunately, Plutarch requires the purest form of tin ore, which exists only in this dreadfully damp ancient England. No. Even their worms leave a nasty aftertaste. Good news, your heart-clogging creaminess. The time transporter's automated repair systems have been engaged to undo the mice's damage. <laughs> Excellent. And as for those rodents, it was an inevitability that they would follow me back here. But there's something I brought back into time with me that they didn't. An extremely unpleasant aquatic odor? No, my dear deviated lip doctor. Gasoline. There are no petrol stations or oil refineries in ancient England. So eventually the mice will quite simply run out of fuel. <laughs> Members of the court, my liege Arthur, Lord of all England, Queen Guinevere, I present the noble slayers of the dragon and the Lady Char. <laughs> Remove your helmets and bow in the presence of the king and queen. That's probably not a good idea. You must heed the law of the realm. Hope they got their seatbelts fastened. No, don't be afraid. These three brave warriors have a, been put under a, a, an evil spell. Spell? Spell my tail! <laughs> They've been transformed into giant mice. Oh, what a terrible fate. There's nothing terrible about this, bud. Good morning. As royal wizard, have you no potion with which to reverse this enchantment? Uh, by Jove, stop. I shall try my lord. Oh, strange. I, I spent a fortnight squeezing this stuff out of little blue elves. Yes, there is no matter, Merlin. Enchantment or no, they have slain the rampaging dragon and thus are our honored guests. I decree a grand banquet. Yeah! <laughs> Bring on the root beer! Root beer? What is this root beer? Oh, man, this really is the Dark Ages. Well, Carbuncle, is the transporter operative yet? Oh, oh soon, your tofuritude. Excellent. <laughs> and to that end, your shoes scrubbiness. The drilling probes have located the largest concentration of pure tin in all of England, under the castle known as Camelot. Camelot? Oh, how deliciously devilish. The ore that must be gone lies in one perfect spot. For after we get through with it, there'll, there'll be, be no Camelot. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this is biker heaven. Yeah, buddy. Man, these are some rude, crude dudes. Oh, my kind of guys. What is this stuff? Old gym socks? You got any root beer? Root beer, soil? Oh, I've never even heard of such a beverage until you arrived. Yeah, well, come on, Cookie. We're going to the royal kitchen. We got work to do. Gross. This is not quite the way I pictured a banquet at Camelot. Oh? Uh, why is that? Oh, I don't know. Most amazing. How does this strange steed move, eh? Substitutionary locomotion spell number seven? Same diff. Internal combustion engine. Using gasoline for fuel. Oh, stupid dress. Gasoline? Yeah, and we're almost out. Say, so you wouldn't have any wicked siphon, would you? Ah, oh, alas, not. But I am well versed in alchemy. Perhaps I can mix a hogshead of this mm, gasoline. 
Seems such a common name. It shall be called Sarsaparilla after Guinevere's mother. That should silence the old dragon. I see. Then he's making friends and influencing people as usual. I hereby declare this contest to be a draw. What? What? Double or nothing, pretty boy. Come on, Vincent. We have more important things to do, like finding Limburger. Hey, lords and ladies, I beg to announce the arrival of the Baron of Munster, Lord Limburger. <laughs> accompanied by his wizard, Jester, and Sir Gris de Pitt, the Duke of Oil. Well, well, bros, guess who's sneezing to dinner? You dare enter Camelot, Limburger? You, whose dragons ravage our land? Oh, my. Not quite the gracious welcome I'd imagined. But... Perhaps you're overwrought due to an obvious infestation of vermin. Uh, possibly my wizard can help you exterminate them. Take your best shot, Wiz. <laughs> All in good time. <laughs> State your business, Baron Limburger, then be gone. But of course, your kingship. As part of my, um, how that never policy. I'm prepared to make you a generous offer for a certain burdensome parcel of real estate, namely Camelot. Duke. <gasps> you presumptuous mountebank. Camelot is not to be bargained for like Dale Johns. Oh, ho, ho, sire, you wound me to the quick. My honor must be avenged. Ergo. I challenge your knights to a jousting match. Uh, here, boy, said you drop this. <laughs> uh, oh. I propose the stakes of the joust be modest. Say, Camilla. Don't do it, Your Majesty. This stinkfish doesn't play fair. And us, a challenge is a challenge. And the rules of chivalry demand that a tournament be arranged. Excellent. Then let the massacre <clears throat> tournament begin. <laughs> I shall wear this for good luck, my lady. I knew it! Those charges are choppers! We'll nail these knights for you, King A. We need no help, my liege. Advance! <laughs> this is like shooting fishies in a bu uh, uh, Sorry, boys. Oh, impertinent idiot. Still, one must guard against the ugly possibility of fair play. Carbuncle. Ah, yes. We know what to do, your milk, Dudley. Sir Lancelot. Oh. My, my, what a stunning upset. Kindly affix your seal, and Camelot will be mine. Wrong, Barracuda, but it, it ain't over till the fat fish squeals. But, but I must protest. They're not knights, they're mice. This is a most serious breach of protocol. They're honorary knights. You hear that? The second team, buddy, the biker knights of the round table. Easy on the gas, guys. Sounds like Merlin's not having much luck cooking up our refills. I'll wear this for luck, doll. <laughs> Whip tail, guys, for Camelot! Indeed, with this thou tail, yes! your sundials. It's time for nightfall. Let those prehensile pests waste their precious petrol. Oh, bah! Win or lose, Camelot will nevertheless be mine. Time for our care 
use of maneuver 12. Carbuncle and Grease Pit are gone. Limburger's up to something. <clears throat> and I'd better find out what. Man, I really miss my jeans. Well, Baron Limburger, it appears our fortunes have reversed. Ah, but your majesty, appearances can be ever so deceiving. Oh, mama, these knights are robots. I'm definitely taking this up with the Union. Those are bots, bros. I think it's time for an executive conference. <gasps> oh, dear me. It would seem that your new Bikonites have, so to speak, turned tail. How very embarrassing for you. Sire. In truth, I fear I have misjudged their valor. How disappointing. Well, at any rate, let us now complete our little real estate transaction. Your royal seal, if you please. Hey, what's with the time out? We're supposed to go before the joust. Time to even this playing field, Vincent. Medieval maneuver number one. Say like, what? A new number I just added to our repertoire. Battle armor time. All right. Dressing for aggression. I'm kind of glad Charlie overpacked for this trip. With this seal, I hereby deed to you the royal palace of Camelot. Oh, a corduroyed moment. And me without a camera. <laughs> what? I'd say we're uniquely suited for this battle, wouldn't you? Finish off those loathsome lemmings! Hey, looks like a fly-by-night. This is killing all credibility with my local allies. Hopefully, the demented carbuncle is faring better with his mission. Yeah, that's the last of the bombs. Cover it up. Oxy doxy. After I'm out of the hole, you medieval muttonhead. Hey, protocolic says you're supposed to call me the Duke of Oil. After all, being rank has its privileges, you know. <laughs> Once these charming little charges are detonated, Camelot will be blown sky high, unearthing the vast supply of pure tin underneath. <laughs> oh no, I've got to warn King Arthur. Oh, oh grab her! Got your mousies, Mama. Let go of me, you slime oozing slug. Milady, Milady, never put a hand her violence or face the wrath of Merlin. <coughs> Not nice to mess with modern science, your ancient foolishness. Hey, Robo-Bro, don't miss our two-for-one missile sale. Yes, sir. There goes another satisfied customer. It would appear congratulations are in order, sire. Sorry I can't stay for the victory celebration. I'm certain it will be... Quite a blowout. In the name of the crown, I dub thee Sir Throttle, Sir Modo, Sir Vincent. Oh, Vinny. <laughs> hey, watch your ears, okay? Knights of the Round Table, be brave and loyal. Did you hear that, Charlie girl? Charlie? Hmm. <laughs> Too much root beer. 
any luck? Negative. And Merlin's missing, too. I'm starting to get a real stinky feeling about all this. Rose, down here, pronto! Uh, the Baron's wizard, the Uzi Duke, they took me Lady Charlene. Wizard? Carbuncle! Fish face is gonna be fertilizer. Limburger's nabbed Charlie, your highness. This is an outrage. The Lady Charlene was under the Crown's protection. Prepare the catapults. If need be, we shall lay siege to Limburger Castle to ensure her safe return. For the glory of Camelot and the Lady Charlene. Camelot and the Lady Charlene. You will be crossing Mordred's land, my lord. Take care. Any idea where Limburger's castle is? Oh, sure, it's no problem. The cook wrote directions on this potato. Hmm, it says, hang a right at ye crossroads, then go yonder 20 leagues. It's a piece of cake. This does not look cool, bros. And we're closing in on empty. <laughs> yep, yep, I told you, Plutarchy and Pits. Just like home. Exactly like home. I came 900 years for this? for the biker mice to take themselves a nice little dip now. <laughs> Good job there, gents, but a uh, little bit premature. Because we forgot to say our last words. Eat dirt. Save my tail feathers. She is no mere bird, warriors. Whoa! I thought parakeets were smart. She is my sorceress, Morgan Le Fay. No kid. And uh, you would be citizen. I am His Majesty Arthur's nephew, Sir Mordred, at your service. Don't suppose you folks know where we can find Baron Limblubber, do you? Limblub? Ah, oh, yes. Limburger. We know the foul baron only too well. Yet another fan of old stink cheese. He is the fetid one who has been plundering my Lord Mordred's land. Don't sweat it, bird lady. Show us where Rig Face is and we'll take care of him up close and personal. It will be our privilege to guide you there. <laughs> You know, I kind of prefer her without feathers. Yeah, well, nobody's perfect, bro. She'd probably prefer us without tails. Oh, and don't ride under the bird. Well, looks like old chubby chowder cheeks forgot to put out the welcome mat. Well, we're going in. Win, lose, or draw, bridge. And we got the perfect housewarming gifts. Let's rock, rock and roll! Something's Eddie fishier than usual, bros. Welcome to my castle, warriors. Your castle? Oh, mama, we've been used and abused. Ah, Lord Mordred. Hey, you forgot to clean the grudge from behind your curtains. Thank you for taking those petulant biker mites off my hands. When I permitted your dragons to dig up my lands, you vowed to use your powerful weapons to make Camelot mine. Patience, my lord, patience. All in good time. The transporter is ready to resume ore shipments immediately, your butter begonitude. Army business calls. My lord Mordred, do terminate these heinous hamsters, won't you? Au revoir, biker mice. <laughs> Uh -oh. Wake up and smell the mildew, bros. Oh, man. Oh, 
I'll never play Dungeons and Dragons again. Rotten. Now oh, calm down, bros. Let's use our heads and our tails. Quietly, Vincent. Yeah, just like mice. Maneuver 110. It's 111. So? Now, well, those sweat finding fish lips now. Just follow the yellow brick transporter glow. King Arthur and the guys are probably ringing his doorbell right now. Oh, man. Not cool. Darling, don't do this to me. Aha! Sweet victory at last. That fool Mordred may have let those vile vermin escape, but now, precisely as I planned, they've run out of fuel. With nary a petrol station in sight for the next thousand years. <laughs> Mud's for wrestling, not for rescuing. By the time we get to Fish Fanny's castle, he's gonna be a long-gone grouper. Hey, watch and learn, bros. I'm gonna lasso us a little extra horsepower. Say, Vinny, I wouldn't approach from the rear like that. Yeah, bro, he looks a little... Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Temperamental. Ah, making time on the Bovine Express. Yeah, more like the milk run. Why don't you guys just jump over the moon, okay? It is no use. The Baron's bewitched weapons keep us from breaching the castle. Uh, excuse me, sires. Hi there. Listen, you know where a mouse can get a cold root beer? Next time, I'm calling the travel agent, okay? Yeah, these discount airlines are the pits. Right free, warriors! You said it! Power. Rolling. 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 <laughs> rolling. Rolling. Rolling down the staircase. Down the staircase. <laughs> Charlie girl, where are you? Empty. But this isn't Mouse's Freeze. Gee, guys, a lummox with a laser. <laughs> Welcome to Castle Limburger, oh mighty biker knights of the round table. And a loser with a locks. Let her go now, beluga blubber. I think not. 
Actually, I'm rather glad you fuelless purples could make it for the obligatory exciting finale. Now you'll have a front row seat while I obliterate Kamenov, and then, in quick order, your loathsome selves. <laughs> Sirs, I have found the formula. Gatsoline. Oh, bother. <laughs> ah, this guy's got teeth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And I have a score to settle with you, pretender wizard. <laughs> All just plain rude. Oh, mama. This gas must be 200 octane. You know, I'm getting to kind of like this. Yeah, it grows on you. <laughs> we breached the walls with battering rams and overcame the defenders. Where's my lady? I end the age of chivalry. Chivalry ends not by your hand, Limbagoth. No! Oh. Ow! Oh! How mundane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, doctor, doctor, we must reach the transporter before they do. Test the jets, guys. They're gonna leave us back here. Well, Your Majesty, forever in Chicago. Farewell, valiant comrades. You are true knights of the round table. Remember me, my lady. Remember me. Farewell, my knight in shining armor. Oh, oh, oh please. Automatic destruction mode is set for ten seconds. Perfect. Those miscreant marmosets will never make it in time. <laughs> this stuff is really kicking in. I just hope it's kicking hard enough. Oh! Blast those barbaric bikers back to the Bronze Age! Okay, Charlie girl, stretch your stuff! This ought to settle the great tin robbery of the ages, and their next stop, the Twilight Zone. She's gonna blow! And so should we! Hit it! <laughs> Whoa! Now you see it, now you don't. Looks like that time transporter took its job seriously. Yep. <laughs> Somewhere in time, old Kelp Keister is making a mystery of history. Come on, come. Time of the lost. Well, I think we're mercifully out of danger. After a fashion.